is that it's not necessarily the case that life remains insignificant on a cosmic scale. Then it may be able to influence larger structures, not just planets and not just solar systems, perhaps not just even galaxies. What if the most powerful quantum processor on Earth just pierced the boundaries of our reality? In December 2024, something unprecedented happened. Google's latest quantum experiment didn't just break records, it shattered expectations. Their new quantum processor, codenamed Willow, achieved a feat so unimaginable that even the scientists behind it were left wondering, did we just glimpse into something beyond what we know as reality? Let's dive into what really happened, the quantum leap that shook reality. When Willow completed a task in under five minutes, a task that would take a classical supercomputer longer than the entire age of the universe, scientists had to stop and ask, what is this machine actually doing? Google's quantum AI director, Hartmut Nevin, made a bold statement. Willow's feat lends credence to the notion that quantum computation occurs in many parallel universes. With that, the internet erupted. The headlines followed. Google taps into the multiverse. Quantum computer uses other realities, new physics. But as with all things quantum, the truth is both stranger and more grounded than the hype. Clearing up the confusion. What did Google actually build? Let's start with the chip itself. There's been confusion around numbers, some claiming Willow used 48 qubits. That's incorrect. Willow is a 105 qubit superconducting processor, a far more sophisticated device than quantum annulars like D-Wave machines, which operate on entirely different principles. This distinction matters, because when people focus on the wrong numbers, they miss the real story. And trust us, the real story is far more mind-bending. Willow's real breakthrough. Error correction. The true revolution wasn't speed, it was stability. Quantum error correction has been a holy grail in physics for decades. Every qubit is fragile, susceptible to noise, loss, and chaos. Adding more usually means more errors. But Willow flipped that script. For the first time, adding more qubits actually made the system more stable. Using a surface code with distance 7 spread across 101 physical qubits, Google created a logical qubit, a kind of composite qubit, that lasted 2.4 times longer than its best individual component. Think of it like building a house where each new brick makes the structure stronger, not weaker. This was thought to be nearly impossible. And yet, Willow did it, a task that should have been impossible. To prove its capability, Willow tackled a problem called random circuit sampling, essentially a quantum version of rolling billions of weighted dice and predicting their outcome. Classical supercomputers would need 10 to the power of 25 years, that's 10 septillion years, to compute the same task. For context, the universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old, and Willow did it in five minutes. At that point, you're not just dealing with speed, you're dealing with something that breaks our everyday understanding of computation itself. So naturally, people began to ask, what is really happening inside that processor? parallel universes, or just a misunderstood metaphor. Let's return to Nevin's infamous quote. When he said quantum computation might occur across many parallel universes, he wasn't making a scientific claim. He was referencing the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. It's one of several theories used to make sense of how quantum superposition and measurement behave. In this view, every quantum outcome happens, just in different universes. It's a useful metaphor but it's still speculative. And most physicists don't believe we need multiple universes to explain what's happening inside quantum computers. Physicists like Ethan Siegel and Sabine Hasenfelder quickly push back, calling the multiverse narrative absurd hype. They emphasize that Willow's performance, while extraordinary, was completely in line with standard quantum theory. No new physics, no hidden layers, no proof of alternate realities. But could there be something more? This is where things get interesting. Willow didn't break the rules, it followed them precisely. But it reached the outer edges of those rules, showing us just how powerful quantum mechanics already is. And yet, some physicists speculate, what if there's more? If hidden variables or new dimensions did exist, 
they could potentially explain performance beyond even what quantum mechanics predicts. But every single test, including Willow's, has confirmed that quantum systems behave exactly as theory dictates. No anomalies, no unexpected results, no quantum ghosts in the machine. Still, we're getting closer to the edge, closer to where imagination and physics start to overlap. Quantum wormholes, another glimpse beyond. Even if Willow didn't pierce another reality, other quantum experiments have tried to peek behind the curtain. Back in 2022, researchers used Google's earlier Sycamore chip, just 53 qubits, to simulate a quantum wormhole teleportation protocol. It wasn't a real wormhole in space, but a mathematical simulation rooted in theories from quantum gravity. It was the first time scientists used a quantum processor to explore ideas from space-time and black hole physics, essentially treating the chip like a lab for the deepest questions in existence. Experiments like these are built on the ADS slash CFT correspondence, a theory suggesting that our 3D reality might actually be a kind of hologram projected from information on a 2D surface. Sounds like science fiction? Absolutely, but it's grounded in some of the most respected math and physics in existence. Hidden variables, a forbidden frontier. Some might wonder, if quantum mechanics is so weird, isn't it possible there's something deeper we're missing? Bell's theorem, a foundational principle in quantum physics, essentially says no. It rules out local hidden variables, meaning there are no secret gears or unseen mechanisms controlling quantum behavior behind the scenes. Every experiment confirms this. Quantum mechanics, as strange as it is, works. And Willow followed those rules to perfection. So, what really happened? Let's be clear. Willow did not discover a new dimension. It did not pierce the multiverse. It did not find hidden layers of reality. But what it did accomplish was arguably just as powerful. It proved that we are now engineering devices that operate on the very edge of physical law. Machines that can solve problems faster than the lifetime of the universe. Machines that, by design, challenge our understanding of what computation even means. In short, Willow didn't break the rules. It redefined what's possible within them. That's not science fiction. That's science. The real hidden layer? Maybe the real hidden layer isn't in some alternate universe. Maybe it's inside quantum mechanics itself, still revealing what it can do when pushed to its limits. Willow has shown us a glimpse of a future where computing doesn't just help us understand the universe. It becomes a way to explore it. And that's where imagination meets reality. If you found this discovery fascinating, subscribe and turn on notifications. We bring you the most cutting edge science you won't hear anywhere else every week because the frontier of reality is just getting started.